Hey Grizzlies! In this video, we will cover the importance of using and monitoring your official Georgian College student email. We highly encourage you to use your student email as your primary email. We'll explore the many benefits of your student email that don't extend to your personal email. Let's dive a little deeper, shall we? Much like your other student systems, you can access your official student email from the login button on the Georgian College website. After confirming your offer to a Georgian College program, you will have received a confirmation letter or letter of acceptance, identifying the login and initial password for all of your student systems. If you no longer have access to your login credentials or simply require assistance logging in, contact the Georgian College IT Service Desk. To kick things off, only Georgian College students will have an official Georgian College email. From a security standpoint, this helps ensure that we're speaking with you, the student. We highly encourage you to download the Microsoft Outlook app so you'll have access to your student email wherever you go. Android users can download the app from Google Play and Apple users from the App Store. Now that we know how to download the Microsoft Outlook app, here's why you should use your student email as your primary email. In a way, your student email acts as your e-signature. Some departments may request that questions and inquiries be sent from your student email only. Your official student email, more often than not, is more professional than your personal email. You'll be sent reminders and notifications about important dates and events that may influence your education. You'll also be notified about college-wide communications and action items that require your attention. The instructors for your individual courses contact students by their student email so if you don't check your student email, you could be missing these communications. With so many benefits to using your student email, we encourage you to open yours today. Let's now explore tips and tricks to writing a professional email in your communications with Georgian College departments. These tips and tricks are yours to use and share. Here we go. As the student, you should Use your Georgian College student email. The email domain is proof that you're a Georgian College student. Always provide an entry in the subject line. For what reason are you sending this email? What is it that you require assistance with? Always include your full name and student number at the beginning of each email. The recipient may need to review your student record to assist, so this will speed up the response time. And of course, initiates your communication with a formal introduction. Support your statements and inquiries by providing full details or screenshots. These details and visuals speed up the troubleshooting process. A great step to providing clear communication is to only provide contents that are specific to your inquiry. While being detailed in your communications is beneficial, providing too much or irrelevant information may cause the receiver to misinterpret your request or send a return email asking for clarity. This communication can often lead to lengthy email chains. The same is true for not providing enough information. Next on our recommendation list is to avoid sending multiples of the same email and allow time for a response. You'll typically receive a response within 24 to 48 hours. Therefore, if you have not received a response within the first hour or so, then not to worry. Simply allow time for the receiver to return a message. If your request is time sensitive, then set yourself up for success and send the request or inquiry in advance. You can also label your email as important. Don't wait until the last minute and expect an immediate response. 
We are well on our way, just a few tips remain. Before you click send, quickly review your email to ensure your contents are accurate and free from spelling and grammar mistakes. This is a great opportunity to imagine that you're the recipient. Does your email clearly identify your question or inquiry? This next one can be a hard habit to kick. While informal text abbreviations like laugh out loud, by the way, or I don't know, are fun and certainly have their place, we should avoid using them in our professional communications. Including these abbreviations immediately diminishes the professionalism of your email. In addition, the recipient of your email may misinterpret these short forms as incorrect spelling. Many abbreviations are not universally known, which can also cause some confusion. Finally, it's best not to include contacts who are not relevant to your inquiry. A question to ask yourself is, why am I looping this person in on this email? Imagine how many emails you would receive if you were included on each message from each of your contacts. Well done, everyone. Start sending emails from your official Georgian College student email today. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you have questions beyond this video resource, contact the Office of the Registrar. For more helpful resources like this one, click on the Academics page in the Student Portal.